Hey y'all, it's CJ with Smoky Beginnings. Today, we have an absolute treat for you. I'll be showing you how to smoke a mouthwatering tri-tip steak on the pit barrel cooker. But that's not all. I'll also be preparing a delicious chimichurri sauce to take these tri-tip steak sliders to the next level. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go! Let's start by making the chimichurri sauce. We want to start here because we want the sauce to sit for two to three hours and allow the flavors to meld. We're going to start by taking one whole bunch of parsley. We're going to remove the leaves from the stems. And to simplify the process, we're adding all the ingredients to a blender. I like having a smooth consistency to the sauce rather than having it be chunky. I don't think anyone really likes chewing on leaves. In the blender, I will also add olive oil and red wine vinegar, salt, pepper, and some chili flakes. In addition, I'll add some garlic and red onion. Blend until you get your desired consistency, and then pour it into a bowl. It should look something like this. Place the bowl in the refrigerator for a few hours, and then let's move on to making the seasoning rump that we'll add to the tri-chip steak. Into a mixing bowl, we'll add salt, brown sugar, garlic, pepper, onion powder, white sugar, and paprika. Give that a good mix to incorporate the flavors, and next we'll move on to preparing our tri-tip steak. Here's what you need. One tri-tip steak that's approximately two to three pounds, and the rub that we just made. Generously season the tri-tip steak with the rub on all the sides. Make sure to let the steak sit at room temperature for about 30 minutes to allow the flavors to penetrate. You can place a hook into the thickest part of the steak at this point. I'm placing two hooks as I will flip the steak halfway through to ensure that one end is more done than the rest of the steak. While we're setting up our pit barrel cooker, here's what you'll need. Obviously you'll need a cooker or a smoker of some sort. You'll need a charcoal briquettes and you'll need some wood chunks. Hickory oak are great with beef. Uh, or you can use my favorite, which is apple wood. We're gonna fill the charcoal basket of the pit barrel cooker with the charcoal briquettes. We're gonna fill one charcoal chimney, light it and allow the briquettes to ash over before adding them to the charcoal basket. After placing the lit coals over the unlit coals, you're going to want to wait about 10 to 15 minutes while the coals ignite and the pit barrel cooker comes up to town. Now that the pit barrel cooker is up to temp, it's time to get that tri-tip steak on the pit barrel cooker and let the magic happen. We'll place the tri-tip onto the hanging rod, we'll close the lid and let it smoke for about 45 minutes to an hour or until the internal temperature reaches our desired doneness, which is right around 130 degrees Fahrenheit for that medium rare. Remember, I'll be flipping the steak halfway through the cooking process for even heat. I want to bring up, even if you have the best intentions, something can always go wrong. I bring that up because the battery on my temperature probe died and I didn't get to see the internal temp of the steak. I was hoping for a rare to medium rare steak before I pulled it off the smoker. We have surpassed that internal temperature goal and it's now time to get this off the smoker. I want to reverse sear the steak, so I'll heat up a pan on the oven over high heat. I'll add some butter to the pan and sear on each side of the steak for about one to two minutes to get that sear. While we are searing the steak, we have started the broiler on the oven I have laid down some Hawaiian rolls onto a cookie sheet with a layer of parchment paper. On the Hawaiian rolls, I have some sharp cheddar cheese. I'm going to place the rolls into the broiler, allowing them to toast and the cheese to melt before removing. While our buns are toasting, our tri-tip steak was resting. It's now time to slice the steak. I'm going to cut the steak in half as the muscle fibers go in two different directions and I want to slice this steak against the grain. From this center cut, you can see we are leaning towards the well done side of the doneness scale. That is totally above my preferred doneness, which is medium rare. But this 
is the type of things that happen when you lose track of time and your fancy temperature probes aren't working correctly. Regardless of the issues I faced, this steel had an outrageous amount of flavor. A wonderful smoke flavor and the rub really complemented the beefiness. I'll take the sliced steak, place it onto the Hawaiian rolls, then I'll take some chimichurri sauce and enjoy a wonderful mouthful of our tri-tip steak sliders. And there you have it. A smoked tri-tip steak slider with chimichurri sauce, smoked on a pit barrel cooker. If you like content like this, make sure to like and subscribe. Check out our blog at smokybeginnings.com for our full recipes. And until next time, keep those fires burning and those taste buds tingling. Have a good one.